Hello my planner friends, it's Crystal with Happy to Plan. I'm going to be doing my Plan With Me video for April 3rd through the 9th and I'm going to be doing kind of like a succulent theme, I guess. I found these stickers at Hobby Lobby. Well, first of all, actually I found this paper pack at Joann's and it really inspired me. I just think it's really cool. It's got a bunch of like succulent things in it. This little page right here. Um, there's a couple different pages that have this type of um, theme. So I wanted to pull out those pages and use that. And then, um, so then I went ahead and went to Target and I purchased these ones because I've seen them there before, but just never purchased them because I didn't have any need. And then I also purchased these ones at Hobby Lobby. Um, I did a haul video. I did a bunch of haul videos yesterday, so if you're interested, you could check out the haul videos for these ones. Um, and then I think I'm going to try to incorporate this sheet in it because it kind of has kind of more like a tribal kind of feel to it. And some of these pages are a little bit more tribally. I don't know. So I'm going to see if I can incorporate this somehow into the planner spread. I'll go ahead and put it on voiceover and start the plan with me. The first thing that I decided I wanted to do was cut up these cut aparts. I wanted to try to use as many as possible in this plan with me because I felt like they just really would give it kind of a different look. And um, I like using cut aparts. I think it kind of adds a different element to the page. So I just cut them up. I didn't use any of the ones with the fox image on it because I do want to try to do another planner spread with those images. So I just used the ones with the um, cactus on them. All right, and then I'm just going to go ahead and cut up some paper. I had the cutter part. It was kind of a gold box, and I wanted. I was thinking I wanted to put it in there um, like that. I ultimately ended up not doing that. It didn't really work with the rest of the layout, but... Um, I did use that piece in a different way. And then I used that little one over there for the side panel and um, it wasn't quite big enough so I just wanted to back it up with some additional paper. Um, so I just cut up this, that kind of like gold foil. It's kind of almost like, it's a rose gold gold foil, not, not a gold foil. And I'm just lining it up here and trying to figure out where exactly I want to trim it off at. And once I get that trimmed, I'm going to go ahead and work on the inside papers and just try to get those trimmed. I'm going to do the two boxes again. I've done this kind of layout before. Um, I used that one as kind of a template because I wanted to make sure I got that image of that cactus. And I wanted to also make sure that I had a little bit of white space at the top. So if I wanted to put something that happens on Monday on that day, I have a little space and then I wouldn't cover up the cactus design. So you'll see when I cut it, it has a little bit of, just a little white space at the top so that I can add a sticker there if I want to. All right, and then um, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with the pink on the side panel. So I thought I would just cut up this little piece of paper again. I'm totally going to change the design because that center piece in there right there doesn't really work. So you can see I moved it up and it's that's not where it's going to go either. I don't even use it there at all. I don't I use it vertically, not horizontally. All right, so I just cut up a couple more pieces. I really like this paper too because it's double-sided, so I was able to kind of get quite a bit of designs, different designs out of the paper. And then of course it all coordinates and matches. So then I just decided I wanted to have all of that, all of the weekend covered in the cactus paper. So I just cut up um, a, a spot that would fill that area up. And that paper right there that I'm cutting is actually the back piece of the cactus paper. So when I flipped it over, I was like, oh, that's that'll work. <laughs> um, and I like that it kind of gave like um, a big pop of color right there. All right, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and add some washi tape to the bottom. So before I did that, I just wanted to cover up with some um, label stickers here. And I just covered it up with some washi tape. Kinda used one of the ombre washi that came from the Target Dollar Spot. Actually almost out of that, but I've used that quite a bit. So 
I know it, I was originally kind of a, not like, didn't like the fact that it didn't come with a lot of washi tape, but I feel like I got my, my dollar worth out of it. <laughs> All right. So now I'm just going to use my new favorite adhesive, which is a, the glue runner from Glue Dots. And I am just going to go ahead and, so I got everything glued down. And then I'm going to go ahead and trim that up a little bit because I thought after I thought about it, I was like, oh, I'm going to the expo on Saturday. So this would be a really cool thing to have on the side on the Saturday day. And then what I'm going to plan on doing is just um, kind of journaling on that day, what I, what I did. So what we did. And I've got a bunch of going with my sister. Me and my sister are hanging out together. And all of my planner friends are coming to the expo. So I'm really excited. All right, so of course I had to cover up the dates at the top because they just wasn't gonna work. And what I decided to do this time was I'm just gonna take, I just took a white piece of cardstock and then I put the, I put the stickers on the white piece of cardstock and then took a little half inch circle punch and circle punched them out. And then I'm just gonna take my um, glue stick and glue them to the top that way because obviously with the clear, they're not really, you can't really see them. So once I get that done, it's gonna be sticker time. Once I got all the decorative stickers on there, I just wanted to add a couple of our the functional stickers. So I put a sticker on the side panel that says this week because I'm gonna put a little check checklist. I um, had that sticker that says let's plan and that actually came from one of the Target Dollar Spot sticker packs. And I just put it on the white cardstock paper. I did that with a couple of the succulents too because they're clear. So on the pattern paper, I just felt like it wasn't showing up enough. So I just um, backed it with some white cardstock paper and then just glued it on there. Put a couple of things on stickers on Monday, and then I put a sticker there on Tuesday. Um, and then I just took some word letters and I wrote the word Expo at the top of that little area up there. And I think that's it. So, oh no, added one more thing that said special day. Okay, and then once I get that done, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the journal card. So I bought these acetate dividers from Target and they were on clearance because they're one of the desktop essentials from American Crafts. And this, I knew that when I bought them, I wasn't gonna to wanna to use them as a divider. I wanted to use them for other purposes. And when I was doing, looking at the, the spread, I realized that this kind of geometrical shape uh, or design really worked with the spread really well. It um, definitely reminds me of the paper that I used at the top where I put the letters. And then I definitely wanted to use this cactus cutout. I really thought this was really cool and it just kind of brought the whole 
um, spread together. So what I was wanted to do was I wanted to I'm just going to trim that up. So because I wanted I wanted the cactus to kind of hang off the edge a little bit of the um, lay of the acetate. So I'm just going to go ahead and trim it up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch the holes. I didn't want to put this in my Happy Planner Punch because it doesn't generally do very well with like anything very heavy. So I just took my crocodile um, from We Are Memory Keepers and I just cut the holes and then you just cut slits in the holes to kind of make it fit. And then I took my glue stick here and I'm just going to go ahead and glue that onto the... Um, acetate and I just think that looks so cool and it turned out really great I'm really really happy with it <laughs> um, and then of course I need an area to kind of do my journaling because I still want it to be a journaling card um, so and I didn't really want to put anything behind it because I didn't want I liked the fact that you could kind of see through it a little bit so I just took one of these little envelopes that I had and I took a string and I'm going to put the string underneath the envelope when I tape it so that when I put it on there I can actually have it closed up. It'll be closed. So I just took some red line tape. I've got some really thick red line tape. I think it's like an inch thick. And I just took that because I wanted to make sure that it was really on there very, very well. And so I'm just going to go ahead and get that inhered on. And then when I did it, I kind of did it sideways like that so that you could, you you can see it just a little bit, but it's still, it's, you just hardly can see it at all. And then I just tied a knot in there, or a bow. And then I'm going to cut a piece of paper to kind of go into the little card. And it's not going to give me a whole lot of space to write, but I'm going to go, I am, like I said, I'm going to write journal on the expo, that white space that I have there. So I think it'll be fine. I, I'll be able to... I mean, really, the expo is really the main part of what I'm doing anyway this week, so I think it'll be okay that I have just a little bit of drilling area. All right, so I'm going to get that tied up again, and then I'm going to go ahead and work on my paper clip. I definitely wanted to use this that really cool sticker from the Hobby Lobby. It's a puffy sticker, and I didn't. I was kind of struggling because I didn't want to like just put the stick the paper clip at the bottom. I really wanted to make sure that when I paper clipped it onto the page, it it wasn't sticking up too much off of the page. So what I decided to do was I took a piece of felt and I um, I used black because on the back of the uh, cactus paper that the, the design that I cut out on the acetate sheet, it has like a black and white foil. I mean a black and white pattern, so I felt like black would be okay. So what I basically did was I cut the felt to kind of fit the shape, and then I cut a slit in the middle of the felt, and then I stuck the paper clip inside there. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue the, gl the felt onto the back, onto the sticker, and I'm going to put that paper clip. So see how the paper clip now is kind of in the middle of the sticker and it doesn't it's not going to stick up too much when I put it on the paper. I have no idea if that's making any sense, but trust me it works um and it um it worked just fine and it doesn't stick up from the page that much. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in my planner. And I am so happy with this. I think it turned out so cute. And then I'll go ahead and put my paper clip. See how it kind of sits inside. Doesn't really stick out too, too much. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and get some of the planning done. As per usual, I don't have a lot going on. Um, I, again, usually just plan as I go kind of thing. But um, I do have my game night on. Tuesday, I am going to be going to a study called Impact, and that's an eight-week study that starts on the 11th, so I just kind of get it, get prepared and um, do some, some initial preparation work for that, so I've put that on there for Monday. I put a little to-do list for the week 
Um, and then I have a meeting on month, on Friday that I'm going to write a little note about. So that's really everything I think that I put on there for this week. I'm really excited about the expo this weekend. And let's see what else. I think that's it. So uh, yeah, I really am pleased with the way it turned out. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video as always. If you have any questions or if you want to give me a comment down below, I love reading your comments. And I will see you next week. Bye.